We're going to learn about volume in this video. And the 3D figure we're going to talk about is a prism. We're going to look at triangular and rectangular prisms. A couple things we need to know is a rectangular prism, the formula for it is V equals capital BH. Capital B is different than lowercase b. Capital means the area of the entire base. And then height for H is the height of the entire prism. Okay, so I'm going to box, circle, highlight, underline that. That's pretty important. Um, and then we'll be looking at this particular example here in just a second, but there's a picture of what it's going to look like. A triangular prism, the formula is starts out the same. Capital V equals capital BH. And again, um, the capital B stands for area of the base. The thing that is different, though, in a triangular prism is that a triangle, we remember it has to have divide by 2. And then we'll also be looking at this specific example um, in a moment for how to calculate it. Example one. So this one is a rectangular prism or a square prism. The bottom is a square. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to fill in what the formula is. Capital V equals capital BH. The base I'm going to trace over this and then I'm going to shade it in is this bottom piece right here and I'm going to shade it in lightly and the area of that it's a square so you just do um, 7 times 7 and switch back to a normal pen. 7 times 7 is 49. Then once I get that answer, the next thing I need to do is take the height of the figure and I'm going to multiply it with my answer I got for the base because it says H with capital B. The height is always this line that's connecting the two bases. I'm just going to label this out beside that 10 is the height. So 49 times 10 is 490. Then my final answer is just 490 feet is the units that's being measured. And this is a 3D figure. 3D figures are going to get an exponent of 3 because we're seeing how many cubes fit inside it. So I would read this answer 490 cubic feet. The second example is the triangular prism. Okay, it starts out the exact same way. The formula is V equals capital BH. This time when I look at the base and I trace it, the base is not always on the bottom. Sometimes people say that it is, but it isn't. It depends on the name of the shape. I'm going to color in the base now so you can see through. The main thing that I'm looking for that's really, really important is where is this right angle? And the right angle is the one that tells you where is the base and height. The right angle is what tells me where is the base and height. So six and eight. Sometimes you get extra numbers, so it's really important that you can identify where this right angle is. So these are the two numbers I'm gonna use. My shape is a triangle. And remember, triangles are also divided by two. So I'm gonna have base times height divided by two. The numbers I'm gonna use are six and eight. Six times eight divided by two. And that would be 48 divided by 2 is 24. Okay, the last thing is the line that's connecting the two bases, that's going to be the height of the entire figure. 
which is what I'm looking for now. I'm going to take 24 because that was the amount I had after they did the base. I'm going to multiply it with 15. And then my final answer would be 360. So overall answer, a volume of this triangular prism would be 360. This is inches. And remember a volume, I just got through saying a 3D figure is looking for how many cubes fit inside. So it's 360 cubic inches.